The, what we are doing initially is we are really focusing on the foods that are not reactive. And that is the difference between MRT and every other protocol that I'm aware of. Other protocols focus on the foods that you're reactive to. But there is no test on the planet that's large enough to test for every food that you're reactive to. So if you're only focusing on the foods that are reactive, and the, and the test is finite, then what about all the foods that can't be tested because there's no test on the planet that's large enough to test for everything? If you go by that method, then invariably you're going to be eating foods that are untested and reactive. So you're throwing water and matches on the fire at the same time. So the way we structure the elimination diet is completely different. We really focus, we test for 120 different foods and 30 chemicals. We identify the foods that are not reactive for that particular person and we have them eat only those foods for four weeks. If the person is eating only non-reactive foods for four weeks and that is all they eat, they still have a generous amount of foods to eat because we're testing 120 foods. But if they're only eating those foods that we know are safe, then by default, they're going to be avoiding the other foods that we didn't test for that are reactive. And so you don't need a test that's super large. You just need a test that's big enough for them to have enough foods to eat. And then by default, then they'll be avoiding all of their tested and untested reactive foods. And we can get a very good reduction in inflammation doing it that way in a very short amount of time.